my name is Richard Bromwell and it's time for another walk and a talk through our auction which is coming up on Friday the 22nd of January so it's our first auction of the year and as usual we've got around about eight to nine hundred lots of pictures, prints, ceramics, silver, jewellery, furniture, you name it, it's pretty much here. But we're going to talk about a few bits and pieces today. So starting off, as ever, for you, those of you who've been watching our videos, we've got all our ceramics, so huge amount of Royal Crown Derby. Um, this is a great favourite of mine. TG Green Cornish Ware, there we go. We know what this is, this is a salt shaker, don't we? And you've got a matching flower one here. And uh, this TG Green, very popular, very sought after. Um, some of this is a little bit later. Some of this is what they call the Judith Onions uh, design bits and pieces. You've got jugs and oil of vinegar. Nice little lot of that, probably about 100 pounds. Uh, looks fantastic in the kitchen. Blue and white, classic, and timeless design. Moving on, we've got some rummers here. Um, you get a very good gin and tonic in one of those, and I know because I've had a few out of those, but lovely little early 19th century rummers. You know, probably 50 to 80 pounds for the three there. Quite good, not dishwasher proof, and certainly don't put them in the microwave. Moving on up, you've got some polka dot there. We've got more Derby here. This is some fantastic shapes, isn't it? Um, not really quite certain what sort of dessert you'd want to put on that, but a lovely extensive set of the late 19th century Derby there. A set like that, two to 300 pounds. Moving on down through, we've got ducks, we've got Chinese figures here, we've got some Belik, for those of you who know what this is, this is Irish, it's particularly fine porcelain, and it's always a bit of damage, and sadly this time we're missing the cover on the teapot, so it's a real shame, little cabaret set there, um, I think my tea would go cold very, very quickly in that, and that's probably sort of one to two hundred pounds, I'm sure someone somewhere has got the missing cover. Moving on through again, this, this is one of my favourites, a Thomas Toft charger. Now, sadly, this is a copy, this is a reproduction. Otherwise, you'd be looking between 80,000 and 120,000 pounds. So for one like that, a slipware sort of reproduction, really. And if you can't afford the 100,000 pounds, two to 300 pounds is what this one is worth. So uh, that's, a, that's a really sort of a, a nice little piece to, to have on your wall. Moving up through here, more ceramics, lots of pictures, more ceramics. We've got dolls and toys and more ceramics, pictures, cows, children, figures, more ceramics and bits and pieces. Huge Glazone charger, what a whopper. Um, I don't think they come much bigger than that. Again, sort of two to three hundred pounds there. Large amount of miscellanea, more ceramics, more glass. Moving up through here, more pictures. Over in the corner here, we've got these. You know I can't resist putting these on. What do you think? Give us a twirl. <laughs> there we go. And these are actually quite, these are actually doily cart opera um, costumes here. Uh, the, the clients have them for a number of years. Uh, I don't think they've ever done anything with them and they've decided so, but doily cart opera costumes there, a little bit different. Put them back up there. Lots of books, more pictures miscellaneous, more pictures, clocks and bits and pieces. And these pictures are interesting all the way along here. We've got around about 30 of these watercolour drawings by George Wetherill. Now, George Wetherill was known as the Turner of the North. And when you look at some of the very, very moody skies that he has, you can certainly see uh, the Turner influence there. George Weather was a family member. Um, he died in the late 19th century, and it's the first time all of these have been on the open market before, and they're gonna value between 500 pounds and 2,000 pounds each. They're all of Whitby. All George Weather ever painted, basically, was Whitby. It's where he lived, and that's what he painted. It's a fantastic collection. A lot of international interest in those, and I'm sure they're gonna sell very, very well. Moving on through, we've got a Jack, a Jack Hogan. Um, picture here and this one for those of you who are uh, know about their paintings Jack Hogan is was later known as or is actually currently known as Jack Vetriano so this is an early Jack Vetriano picture the very very famous the butler on the on the beach there we go and that's between sort of 700 pounds and a thousand pounds and sort of moving on through moving on through huge amount of bezic here we've got fish we've got a barracuda down there marlin we've got cattle we've got figures we've got 
there's Winnie the Pooh, we've got all the Beatrix Potter figures, and there's some very, very rare ones in there. And there, again, these lots are estimated between sort of £50 and about £1,000. So there's some really good Bezic. Naomi Grabham is our Bezic specialist here and uh, knows her models, colourways inside out. So if you've got some Bezic, Naomi Grabham's the lady to contact. Moving on through here, lots of furniture, items like stalls. Always popular auction, um, something to put your feet on, put your cup of coffee on, your magazine. A little Victorian stall like that, sort of £100, maybe £150. I think you've got around about 200 lots of furniture, huge amount of furniture. Then moving on through, we've got all our ceramics and miscellanea, which are just in here. And uh, of the ceramics, we've got a, this is interesting, so you've got sort of 18th century Worcester, sort of through to late 20th century Worcester here. Um, a lovely little moulded jug here, hand decorated in, in blue and white underglaze. And for a little Worcester jug like that, um, you're probably looking sort of one to 200 pounds. This one on the other hand is late 20th century and it's certainly a very, very flashy item, isn't it? Well, you've got all this fruit painted decoration here. You've got all the gilding. It's a little potpourri vase and cover. And that's again, probably, you know, maybe a couple hundred pounds. So it's interesting. You've got your 18th century worth a couple hundred pounds and you've got your late 20th century worth a couple hundred pounds as well. But that's where the market is. Also in the cabinet, you've got a lovely little, little selection of Hannah Barlow and uh, also the Barlow uh, sisters. And I think there's a brother as well and lovely, group of vases here again these are worth upwards of a thousand pounds a pair still very very popular and with live internet bidding at all of our auctions we get all the dealers collectors and museums getting in, in interactive with us we've also got a group of miscellaneous so just just hang on there and uh, this is a this has been a favorite of mine for many years the tunbridge Ware box just a sweet little box here um profusely inlaid on rosewood and a little box like that it's a sort of thing which would look great on a side table what have you and that's that's probably between sort of 70 pounds and 100 pounds so lovely again always in such super condition but we also have a huge amount of pictures and we've got lovely little pause um, got, what am i talking about the lovely little group of miniatures here i kind of quite like this What's it going to be? There we go. A little child with a ball. Survived in super condition there. And um, obviously because it's kept away from the sun, obviously watercolours can fade very, very quickly. And for a lovely child and a ball in a little bird's eye maple box frame there as well, that's probably between 100 and 150 pounds. Lady, she's got a bit of a... She, she's not a looker, is she? You, you've got to be honest about it. If, if she was your relation, you certainly wouldn't want to admit to it. But actually, again, very finely painted uh, 19th century portrait miniature. Again, sort of one to 200 pounds. But something which we've got, which is really rather special, is uh, a collection of etchings and engravings. And we've got here, we've got a wonderful Paul Nash here. Um, and this was hung on a wall and we walked past it several times and it's called Black Poplar Pond here. And uh, although it's an etching, uh, sorry, big one, it's a woodcut, this one, uh, date, signed and dated 1922. So basically, yes, it's a print. It's estimated between 2,000 and 4,000 pounds. Again, we've already had a lot of interest in this. We've got several telephone lines booked on it. It's uh, one of a collection of woodcuts and etchings we've got in the auction. And there's two of these um, and they're fantastic. Uh, there's a big... Uh, Big Paul Nash exhibition coming up at the Tate this year. And again, there's a huge amount of interest in this very, very important uh, um, English 20th century artist. Well, that's a bit of a quick little walk and a talk through the auction. If you're interested in any of the lots, you can give us a phone call on 01935 812277. Or check them all out on the website. Every lot is illustrated up there on www.charterhouse-auction.com. I hope you've all enjoyed it. This is the auction coming up on Friday, the 22nd of January 2016. And uh, thanks for watching.